right, we're gonna do what's for dinner again. We're gonna make cranberry chicken, uh, roasted Brussels sprouts, Spanish rice, and a white wine spritzer. So I went to the store and just got some ingredients that we were missing for and most of the uh, ingredients we had at home. So I went and got some apples for the wine. I really felt like I needed an extra oomph for this meal and I got Spanish rice. We didn't have any rice at the house. And I just double checked because, you know, never quite too sure. So I got the cranberries out of the cabinet. Um, the first thing that I am going to start is the white wine spritzer because I want it to be chilled while the food is cooking. So it's going to have about 45 minutes to an hour in the fridge. So um, my friend Sabrina actually gave me this recipe for the wine spritzer. But she uses um, sweet apples. And I... I liked it, but I made it a little too sweet, and since I don't have that much of a sweet tooth, I use these Granny Smith apples, which are more tart, and I feel like that would soak up the wine nicely and apple juice for it, or apple cider. So, I just took off the stickers, and I rinsed them all off, and I just diced them up, and... She, we made a gallon when we had it last time, and since this is only a half a gallon, we just, I just cut the recipe in half, is all I did. So I just cut up the apple, and I diced it up, and put it in the pitcher. Then I add the wine, and you're supposed to measure, it's supposed to be like a cup or two cups of club soda cup or two of apple cider and since I don't really like measuring things I just kind of guesstimate until it looks about right so I just stirred up the apples after I added the wine Got my club soda and my apple cider. And these two were on sale. It was cheap, but they still taste good. I mean, it's just the off brand, so. So I just poured them in, and the club soda, when I opened it, went everywhere. So just be careful. I guess be smarter than I was because I was not very smart right there. I wasn't. I was not. So I poured in the apple cider and the club soda and I loved how it fizzed. Just fizz and fizz. So, you'll probably have leftover club soda and outsiders to drink it, mix it, do whatever you want. So, I just stirred it up so the apples could absorb more of the flavor and make it soft and yummy. So, I just put a lid on it. And I put it in the fridge so while the chicken and stuff is cooking, that could chill down and be tasty for dinner. So, I use canned cranberry and I use the whole stuff because at this time of year it's really hard to find whole cranberries where I live. So I just use the can. I poured it into a bowl and separated it out otherwise it comes literally like can form. And to spice up the cranberry, cranberries are kind of tart most of the time, not too sweet or too sweet, not enough tart. I don't. Make sure I get it all out of the can. Stir it real well. 
And then I cut up an orange I got from the store. Just one single orange does it. This one was huge. It's like as big as my hand. It was ginormous. So what I did instead of peeling it, because I want the orange peel within the cranberry to give it a little more color and flavor and a little zest, I just cut the orange in half, and I cut it in half again because it was so big. Usually I use about half of the orange for the recipe, but with it being so big, it didn't even fit in the orange line presser. Like, it didn't even fit. So if you had a bigger one than me... Probably good. So why I'm cupping it is so that none of the skin or anything like that, not the skin, like the you know the peel around it didn't get in it. So I just squeezed out all the juice I could. If you heat up, if you have like a lime with lemon, if you heat it first in the microwave for like 30 seconds or so, it actually releases. It, it breaks down. And like releases more juice, but since this is so big, I didn't the orange. I should not even bother. You can see it's just like linking out this. It was such a juicy orange. And since I couldn't find our zester, so I just mixed in the orange juice. I couldn't find the zester, so. I was trying to think of how to zest the orange because I really wanted the zest in there. I used a cheese grater because I couldn't find my microplane. I tried a knife at first and did not work out well at all. <laughs> it was a really dumb idea. See, when I cook, I'm very amateur cooking, I guess. I just kind of go with whatever I feel like. So I just zested the orange on the fine side of the cheese grater and then added that to the mix. So then I laid out the chicken in a sprayed I think this is like 8 by 9 or 9 by 8 pan. Yeah, I already poured my gla glass of wine a little early. Oh, it's getting butter out of the fridge. So, one of my exes taught me that if I put, if you're using frozen chicken, if you put butter on top of it and then your ingredients, it actually makes your chicken stay moist. So, I used his little tip in life. He, he was like taking cooking classes or something. I don't know. So, he taught me a little about cooking. So, I just used a knife, spread some butter on before I put the cranberry mix on it. And this container of butter was almost gone. That's why I didn't mind touching the raw chicken with it. Otherwise, I would scoop some out, like, to a plate and then put it on. I used, um, my hand wrapped in, like, saran wrap or a baggie so that it wouldn't be contaminated, the whole thing of butter. So once you have the butter on it and it's sprayed and in the pan, now it's time for our mixture. I use a fork because I like to put the cranberries on top of it. So, so after you coat them with cranberry, you can stick it in the oven. So I got my cranberries and the chicken. So this is before it's cooked. Nice. So it smells. I wish they made a camera that you could smell what I smell. Because it is, it smells so good. So you just want to stick that in the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes or until the chicken is cooked. 
because you don't want to eat raw chicken. So I'm going to put mine on for 35 and then I'll check it and I'll add more time. So while the chicken is in the oven, I am just making the box right for Cerrone. I read the instructions and I always tweak things and add things. So I'm sauteing the rice and box with the cup. My cup. Oh my god. A teaspoon of butter. Doing there, and I'm going to saute it up so that the rice is a little, has some color, some crisp, some goodness. I'm just sauteing it. Chicken's in the oven, rice has started, and now I have to think of a vegetable. So I've decided on, as you read the title, Brussels sprouts. But it was between Brussels sprouts and broccoli, but I've been craving Brussels sprouts, so. Okay. So while the rice is going in the pan, I just got the red copper pan and sprayed it. There's just butter and thing. Red copper pan is sprayed and is heating up for the Brussels sprouts. I put the Brussels sprouts in with a little bit of water so it can steam and make sure they're fully cooked because they were frozen, not fresh Brussels sprouts. Um, and as it, the water will evaporate, so don't worry. I just put about maybe less than a fourth of a cup, eighth of a cup maybe. Um, I also added some garlic to it after it was cooked a little bit. Because I like garlic. A lot of garlic. Um... So though, while those two are cooking, they can the oven, and then after um, I added some water to the rice so it could cook, I added some diced tomatoes with hab habanero peppers and chili peppers in there, whatever, it's like one of the six cans, to add a little flavor to the Spanish rice. Let it cook. Most of it's just cooking, you just gotta watch it. So, put the lids on, let it simmer. So around six minutes left of the chicken being done, I took it out and I cut it and it was still slightly pink, not too pink, but so I just put it back in the oven, I got my alligator pot holders out, took it out, make sure it was fully cooked, you can use a meat thermometer, you can cut the chicken, or if you're really talented, you can put your thumb and your forefinger together and you press and the little bulgy part it if it feels like that then it's fully cooked but I am not that talented to do that so I don't even try that method I just cut it and then I checked the Brussels sprouts and I checked the rice made sure it was cooking. It just needed a few more minutes to while the chicken rested. That just simmered down and finished cooking. And it was, it was really good.
basically. Um, I got my protein and my carbs, I guess. Rice is a carb, and I got my Brussels sprouts. So, Brussels sprouts take about, if you see the thing, about half my plate. I really, you really need to eat a lot of veggies in your life. I've been learning that. I was never a rice person, but I'm getting into it. You know, it's like the texture thing. So, white rice, I literally cannot eat. I don't know what it is. I've tried it several different ways. Maybe I'll try it again, but. And then I got my cranberries and my chicken, and there. Need to be the end, then I got my white wine spritzer. I'm just gonna watch a little movie, and then I'll be done eating. So, this meal really didn't.